Now, from your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Absolutely sweltering no matter how you slice it, folks. 107 at the airport right now, and it's not very hard to see why. Humidity, only around 10 to 20 percent is what we've been averaging around this time of day. That's not going to get you any cooler, especially those winds, too. No matter what direction they're coming from, it's just going to feel like it's hurting your face at that point. And really, the high pressure just continuing to be the dominant factor in that. It's parking itself right over the state of Texas at the moment and is going to be lasting at least the next few days before it finally gets kicked out of here. New record high for today, as I said, 108. Previous was 105, set in that equally record setting year of 2011. That's never a mark you want to beat, let alone soar above by a good three degrees. We may even hit 109 before the day is up. Heat advisory has actually been extended as we kind of expected yesterday. We were talking about this where it had only been issued till Friday evening. In light of the recent forecast, it is going to be extended until Sunday evening. The heat advisory for southern counties where it's expected to stay ever so cooler, but you're splitting hairs at that point. Excessive heat warning continues for San Angelo, Tom Green County, and all the counties highlighted in that hot pink color until, again, Sunday evening. We are the hottest state in the Union for today, pretty handily at that. Oklahoma City, though, at 105, they are making inroads toward that. 104 in Phoenix. Never a great day when you're beating Phoenix either, for that matter. And I just saw a reading of 111 degrees up in Wichita Falls. I'm not quite sure if that's an all-time record, but incidentally, that figure is our all-time record for San Angelo, and I've got us edging ever so closer to that come the weekend. Please, please stay safe as best you can, folks. Stage one, stage two drought conditions starting to creep back into the Concho Valley, or at least spread out a little bit more. Looks like Western Crockett County is sort of missing out on all this fun, but uh, as for the uh, stage three, you got creeping in now towards uh, Schleicher and Sutton counties too. Really not great news. Oddly enough, that bullseye that's sort of been up towards Midland, Odessa, that stage four in red for the last couple of months or so. That's gone away because we've gotten a little bit more rain up there. You're winning with the weather prize for this week, courtesy of Budget Blinds. A pair of Sonus One wireless speakers were given away, valued at just around $300. Entered to win before midnight tonight. We'll announce the winner tomorrow, live on location at 6 o'clock. Best of luck, everybody. 78 degrees, very warm again tonight. We only hit 79 earlier this morning, and in point of fact, we started going up for our temperatures right at midnight. Had around 82, and then all of a sudden the winds. Ever so slightly shifted direction, we popped up to 87, 88 by 1 in the morning. That's never something you want at night, let alone the daytime for this kind of heat. 107 for tomorrow. That would tie the record high. And with us hitting 108 tomorrow, yeah, that might realistically hit 108, 109 as well. And your weather authority seven day forecast. I do have 109 on the board for Sunday. The hot tag is pretty much just there as a staple at this point, as a courtesy. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, relief somewhat in sight. While we are still going to be hitting the triple digits pretty handily. I do think we have this weak cold front coming in. Only a couple models starting to show it, but I'm willing to give out at least a little bit of hope here to drop our temperatures by a good six or seven degrees. We'll be right back.